What's up guys, Trey Lowell here, and today I wanna show you exactly how you can build your own shelves for your YouTube setup, just like the ones behind me, coming up next. So a lot of us out there are always looking to make our YouTube videos look better. One thing I've been trying to do over the past couple of months is just make my set more appealing for you, the audience out there, and just kind of little by little building kind of its character or exactly what it needs to look like. Now that could be lighting, that could be objects in the background, or in this case, it could be a DIY shelf. So right behind me, I recently built two shelves and I wanna walk you guys through the simple steps from somebody that is definitely not a professional when it comes to building just about anything of how easy you can put together some DIY shelves on a low budget. Okay, so you guys get the point. So let's talk items that are gonna be needed to do your DIY shelf. Number one, a saw. And number two, a measuring tape. Number three, sandpaper. And number four, some wood finish. Number five, some wood conditioner or pre-stain. Number six, our brackets for hanging our shelves. Conveniently could be purchased on Amazon, coming in at about $12 for two. And number seven, a paint roller or paint foam brush so that we can apply our conditioner and our wood finish. So now that we have all our equipment, let's go ahead and jump into the first step of our DIY shelf, and that is gonna be measurements. Go ahead and pick the exact size that you're looking for, and simply we're just gonna measure it out with our measuring tape and our pen, and then we're gonna move into sawing along our line. So after you're done sawing, the second step will be sanding down the edge that was just sawed. Now that we're done with sanding, step three, we're applying the wood conditioner. For this step, we'll need not only the wood conditioner, but we'll also need our foam paintbrush. So in my experience, it's best to just lather up the board with a ton of the preconditioner and then allow to sit in the sun for a minimum of four to six hours so that the board can dry. Now that our wood conditioner has completely dried on the shelf, our fourth step is the wood finish. We're going to go ahead and submerge our foam brush once again in the wood finish this time and lather up our board. Like I said, with the conditioner, I tend to go a little heavy on the paint. That way I have a nice dark finish on our shelf. And our final step before we move inside will be installing our brackets slash hangers onto our shelf before we move inside to hang the shelf itself. So now that we're done with all the painting, this is where things get easy. Simply put, it's just time to hang your shelves, put your items on it, and voila, you're done. So overall, I've been extremely happy with the shelves that you can see behind me. I think a grand total of maybe a full day or two of work was put in to successfully pull this off. A lot of the time was actually committed to letting the paint dry, the stain, mainly because you do not want to actually do any drilling or hanging of the shelves when the paint or the stain is not completely dried because it's going to be very sticky and if you happen to go put any objects on there, that stain is gonna get all over those objects. So for what I would consider two days of work and maybe all in, 
maybe 50 to 100 dollars tops i have a custom set of shelving behind me that i've been extremely happy with so hey guys as always it's trey lowell with lowell productions if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button if you like the content i keep creating on this channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and as always i'll see you guys in the next video